Hi, it's me again, I'm Nafid. In this short video, we will explain how to install a publicly signed SSL certificate on Ubuntu Linux um, running Engine X. Of course, you can run the same process uh, on other Ubuntu running, maybe Apache, but I'm just focusing on the Engine X. In previous videos, we did explain how to install Engine X. You can refer to these videos if you would like to do so. So the first thing we're going to do is to generate the CSR. Um, once you generate the CSR, that will be in a file, and then you're going to copy the content of that file, and then install it or send it to um, a certificate authority or a reseller. Once you do this, you will be able then to generate usually two files, the bundle that contains details of the CSR of the certificate authority and you will download also generate the certificate file itself it normally gets generated in two different formats that all depends on the format in this simple um, illustration we will uh, then download the certificate that was generated and then we will install the certificate on the nginx you will notice if you have not installed the certificate, the browser will complain about the trustworthiness and give you a warning on the browser tab. And once you install a certificate that is uh, generated by a uh, public CA trusted by the browser, then uh, the certificate uh, is valid or validated by the operating system you're running. And then you should not have any complaint on that certificate. So let's go. You can uh, perform update uh, or check the update if you would like to do so. Not usually we will do that. So to up, um, update, and we're going to find out if updates are needed. Then we can upgrade and uh, install all of these updates. It says in here all packages are up to date. Now this server has Nginx as the proxy server. Um, you might have a Apache. Uh, installed or some other uh, web service if you'd like to know more about nginx so you can refer to my video uh, about nginx uh, which i have published um, some months ago so the first thing you're going to do you will generate um, a certificate signing request we call it sometimes csr so you're going to generate that certificate signing request take the output of that generated certificate signing request submitted to the certificate authority ca then generate the certificate then install the certificate on the server so we're going to go through these steps uh, one by one probably you can place the certificate sign request and the key or the private key um, anywhere but i would like to move it to um, ssl so it's easier and um, i know exactly what things are so we move to etc ssl and you can see that we have a bunch of things here. We have already installed certificate, but I will not use this one. And we're gonna generate new uh, private key and new certificate sign request, submit it, and then use it in our um, installation. So we're gonna do, we're gonna use OpenSSL, which is a package that already been installed uh, to generate the certificate signing request. So now we would like to specify the file name where the certificate key or private key will go to for 2002 k So now the file has been generated, you can see in the list. And that's what we have created right now. You can look at that if you would like to. Nano lab was lame. And that is the private key, RSA private key. Right, so that's one done. One thing done. Now the concept is we are going to use this private key in generating or in uh, in creating the certificate sign request. So when we submit it to the CA, the private key will be part of that request. Again, we're going to use the open SSL um, to generate the request. So we're going to go open SSL request, and we are requesting a new key. A new certificate here with the key file that is 
created in the previous step. So we're going to use this as a key file here. And then the output should uh, in a certificate sign request file. So we're going to go say, uh, we're going to call this one the same name. Uh, and we're going to call it a CSR. So now we provide all the details. Country code, we go for GB, that's uh, United Kingdom. State or province, we're going to go for. Um, these are the details of you where the server is located. City. Um, West Lane Limited and uh, we're going to go for lab that's going to be used for a lab and then fully qualified domain if you my domain name so lab.wizlane.net so that's what is the fully qualified domain email address we're going to go with my email So we can go for the challenge password if you like. We can leave it empty to be sent with your certificate request. We can go for that, no problem. So that's all been generated as part of the um, certificate sign request. And if you go to see the list, a new file has been created. So we can go and just have a look at that file. Okay. So now we're going to take this certificate request and submit it the whole lot. We're going to take this one and submit it to the CA you are going to generate the certificate from. I'm using name cheap. You use any other name, um, any other CA or um, reseller. So I have submitted the uh, request to this name cheap. Yeah. And with my primary domain name, lab.wizlane.com, uh, .net, and go next. And then you full you follow the steps step by step. This will send the approval, um, so you can continue with the with the request. Go next. So here it says SSL will be sent to this domain, and and they will continue with the validation of the domain name. So we submit the request. Email was sent, and we need you copy this code. In this case, we click here and enter the code we have been generated now so now it has become active so we can download the certificate now this is certificate you're going to download once you download you copy that and you save it um, i'll show you how to do it on the actual um, server so once you download certificates here um, you can look at that you can clearly see it's a zip file and that's a certificate and that's a bundle here the certificate itself so we're gonna just now install this into our Ubuntu server I'm gonna use Pies Vela which is the application uh, we're gonna use that application to connect to our Linux and we will copy files from our Windows machine you could just use the copy command also CP command uh, but it's easier to use this Pies Vela uh, application to copy from to right and we're going to rename the older certificate files the private key just in case if things go wrong then we can always get back to them so we're going to rename the bundle rename the certificate and we're going to rename the private key yeah so these three files will be renamed and then we will upload the newly generated files into the same folder so 
So now we created, we renamed this, rename certificate, and we renamed the private key one. So using this um, file transfer tool, FileZilla, we will move these files, the certificate and bundle into the same location. I'm going to just copy this into here. And then we're going to so certificate has been moved, um, I mean copied, and this one the bundle will be copied as well. So we have the ingredients for the certificate to work. We'll go and double check the folder on the um, on the Linux now. Notice this is the new bundle. This is today's date, and that's me logged in. And this is certificate, and this is today's date basically. Yeah. So now just to confirm, uh, notice we'll go to the Nginx folder, sites available, and that is where you direct the Nginx to use what certificate and the file location. That's the name of the certificates and the bundle. So the ones we have just added it to. So in this file, you can see that we are using certificate and the key plus the bundle. And that's the reason I did not change the name or just put the name uh, back as it was. So getting back to this application, uh, I'm gonna, we're going to just delete this. We don't need it now. We can leave it just in case. So that's the key. That's the bundle. And that is the certificate that we have copied over. What we need to do is restart the services in uh, the Nginx service so the new update will take effect. So, so do System control restart. We look at the status of the engine X service. File is successful. Everything is fine, and and it is active and running. So things are ready. Since Sunday, this is the date, and we're gonna go for um, testing now. Now we can see certificate um, issued, and this is valid certificate. There's no complaint from the browser. So thank you very much for watching the video and see you in future videos.